Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Ah, love is in the air, and so is great care, taken by you. Why? Because it's Valentine's Day, which means for some partners, they're scrambling for gifts, expensive jewelry, and last minute dinner reservations. Along with the positive ways a celebration of love can affect you and your relationship, there are also ways in which Valentine's can negatively impact you, single or in a relationship. Here are five reasons why Valentine's Day is bad for you. Number one, you may be pressured to spend lots of money. Do you feel a bit pressured to spend loads of money on expensive gifts and flowers? It's the thought that counts. Really, your gift doesn't have to be super expensive to mean more to your partner. But many feel pressured into spending a great deal of money on gifts for their partner during the holiday of love. You may go out of your normal spending budget for this holiday. But if you find yourself pressured by that sales associate to spend big on some diamond jewelry or fancy cologne, then you'll not only feel the pressure during the holiday, but afterwards when you look in your wallet next, unless you use a credit card, then it's like it never happened, <laughs> right? Number two, expectations are high. Expectations can be very high on Valentine's Day, not just for gifts, but for the romantic day. Many partners may start to expect this holiday to be the best of the best, an amazing romance-driven day filled with joy and love. But it's not often like that for many. Jonathan Fader, psychologist and assistant professor of family medicine at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, wrote in his article from Psychology Today that, setting expectations so high can set us up for disappointment when reality doesn't match up with these unrealistic hopes, he writes. He continues explaining that, one study found that couples who enter relationships with positive expectations are more likely to face later disappointment and relationship dysfunction than couples who enter with more realistic expectations. So remember, it's just a day to give your partner a bit of extra love and affection. Let them know how much you care for them, but avoid the expectations that it will be the best day ever. Number three, it may set off depressive thoughts. For those who are single, Valentine's Day can set off a stream of lonely thoughts and feelings. If you're feeling lonely and desire a partner, Valentine's Day may not help with those feelings. Not only are stores lined with little reminders about romance and love, but then you're reminded about the holiday online too. <laughs> if possible, avoid comparing yourself to others and know that you don't need a partner to feel happy. Call a friend, a sibling, set up a Valentine's Day party have a self-care day. Valentine's Day doesn't need to be all about romance. It can simply be about love too, for yourself or others. Number four, your partner isn't clear on what they want. So we've mentioned the pressure to buy expensive gifts for your partner, but many couples find their partner isn't quite clear on what they want for the holiday. Some may not even know what they want, so you may have a different type of pressure not to spend more money, but find something extra special. What if they get you something very meaningful? you don't know what to get them. This is simply another way pressure and stress can wreak havoc on your mind on Valentine's Day. And number five, you may make comparisons. Do you make comparisons with how other couples spent their Valentines or maybe with your favorite romance movie? Comparing your happiness to others can lead to not only stress, but unnecessary dissatisfaction. You may start to analyze your relationship more than needed simply because your friend had an over-the-top Valentine's Day while yours was a sweet day out with your partner. But really, you had a great time. Comparisons may leave you feeling bad or worried you should have done more for your partner. Your friend may even be comparing their day to yours and feeling the same way. Psychologist Jonathan Fader explains in Psychology Today that these comparisons can lead to dissatisfaction about our own way of celebrating, even if it was perfectly enjoyable and satisfying in the moment. Indeed, they can. You may think that everyone else's day was simply perfect and may feel a little put down by it all. But people generally like to share the highlights only. Instead of comparing your day with others, focus on how your day was simple, sweet, or special to you. It was with something you love, whether that be a person or a favorite movie in a bowl of popcorn. Ah, rear window, you're a classic. If possible, enjoy your day for what it is. It's special to you with a loved one or yourself. Hey, still gotta love yourself. And why shouldn't you? You're pretty amazing. So go ahead and celebrate that and go ahead and indulge in those delicious boxes of chocolates, not the expensive ones. Your wallet will thank you later. 
So how will you spend Valentine's Day? Will it be a Galentine's Day? A good old day with the family? A self-care day? Feel free to comment down below. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend, loved one, or someone who could use it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.